Hi guys, Nick here, and today we're going to go over how I drill drainage holes in my ceramic pots, specifically my more inexpensive IKEA ones. Now the bit you're going to need for this is called a glass and tile drill bit, and it's going to work for both glazed and unglazed pots, but I'm going to say from experience that it's going to be a lot easier to do unglazed pots. But fortunately, if you're using an IKEA pot like this one that's glazed, they do you a favor and leave the bottom unglazed. Now this is pretty safe and straightforward, but I still would recommend using any kind of safety goggles just to prevent any eye injury that could occur. So first and foremost, I'm going to recommend it doing this outside. If you absolutely have to do it indoors, I would recommend setting down some newspaper or paper bags to catch any dust and also wear some kind of mask to avoid any inhalation of the ceramic dust, as well as opening any windows to provide good ventilation. So as I mentioned, the bottoms are left unglazed on most IKEA pots, not all of them, but most of them. And you will notice that most of them also have a little indentation on the bottom, which is just at the center of the pot, basically saying that they should have drilled holes in these in the first place, but they didn't. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So when you are ready to drill, you're going to want to flip your pot upside down and do this from the top down in. And then I have heard people recommend wetting the surface of your pot where you will be drilling, but in my experience, that just turns where you're drilling into a pasty mess. So I would avoid doing that. I'm using a 5 16 7 inch drill bit today because that was the largest one that came with my set and when you're ready to start drilling you're going to want to firmly grasp your pot to keep it in place and then on a 90 degree angle you're going to want to slowly with a good amount of pressure start drilling. As your drill bit starts to work its way into the ceramic I would start letting up a little bit on the pressure and increasing the drill speed. Once you can feel that your drill is about to make its way through the ceramic I would recommend slowing down a little bit just to make sure that you don't just plop right down and shatter your pot with the drill. As I mentioned, glazed pots are very doable as well, but they do just require a little bit more elbow grease. And when you're doing this, remember it's going to take a little bit longer and you're going to be, you know, turning your drill a little bit faster using a little bit more pressure. So keep in mind that the metal's going to be really hot when you're done drilling, so I would just refrain from touching it to save yourself from any burns. All in all, I think this is a fantastic money-saving trick for your indoor garden, as IKEA pots can be quite inexpensive and some of us have quite a lot of them laying around, so it saves me from having to go out and buy a bunch of new pots this summer. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!